You may recall from earlier sessions that with regard to the problem of knowledge and skepticism, there are you know, two, two basic positions you can take. That is that skepticism is true. That is you can't know anything about, and we're talking about skepticism with respect to the external world, so you can't know anything about the external world. Or you could be what I called a cognitivist, the person who claims that you do have knowledge, or we do have knowledge of the external world. And under the umbrella of cognitivism, there are really two different strains of thought that we see in early modern philosophy. One is what we call the rationalist perspective, that is that ultimately reason is required, is what bases our knowledge, is what ultimately justifies us in believing things about the external world, or at least it's a critical or the critical component is reason in getting there, versus the empiricists who said that experience itself, the experiences themselves are the only thing that you need to justify the existence, the beliefs in the existence of the external world, to have knowledge of the external world, that ultimately the foundation of our <coughs> excuse me, knowledge of the external world is the exp is experience itself. Now the rationalist answer or explanation or theory of knowledge that we've considered is Descartes. And let me just point out, you know, how Descartes' you know, rationalism sort of works and why it's rationalism. And you can think it's kind of the rationalist's answer to skepticism, right? And we remember that Descartes started with his skeptical arguments. And then he found certain things that were going to be his foundation of knowledge, what he was going to build knowledge on, his the beliefs about which he could be certain, that he could guarantee their truth, that he exists, that he's, that he's a thinking being, that he seems to see certain things, he has experiences of a certain type, and he can be sure about that. And based on that, he also finds that he has this idea of God, so he now argues that their God must exist, and he gives, gives a, a complicated argument for, and an interesting argument for showing that God exists, exists, and he explains truth and falsity, which we do are not really germane to what we're talking about, but. He gives another proof of God's existence, and ultimately, his proofs for God's existence, and that God can't be a deceiver, and that God created us such that our clear and distinct perceptions are true, ultimately justify our belief in the external world. So without, without these additional, and it's... And remember, Descartes isn't saying that we have to sit there and in order for us to have knowledge, or having sometimes it seems scientific or metaphysical knowledge, that we have to think about these arguments for God's existence all the time, but rather that the, the, the fact that these arguments are correct and the program is correct is ultimately what serves as at least part of the justification of our belief that there are, that there is an external world, that there are objects in the external world. So ultimately the perceptions, our experience itself, that's just, you know, what we saw in the second meditation, the things that we're certain about. Descartes said those and those by themselves don't yield us a justified belief in the external world. That is, in order to have knowledge, we have to have be able to reason our way through God's existence and reason our way away from the doubt. So that's his program. And admittedly, when you first when you first looked at skeptical arguments, 
Most people thought they were maybe a little bit strange, but they couldn't exactly see what was wrong with them. Now when we picked up thinking about them in the context of Descartes, um, we said, gee, Descartes is really, he has some good reasons for doubting certain things, but ultimately many of you were certainly not happy with this kind of rationalist epistemology. That is, most of you don't think ultimately part of your justification for thinking that there's an external world is that God exists. 